take Muhammad with you. Now, does he have stream equipment? He could be with T.O.? Yes. <laughs> Possibly. Okay, cool. We got Nito and Wind. Oh, interesting. All caps, Wind. All right. Um, Bronkopolis wanted to, wanted to commentate this match. He's standing right here to my left. He's looking very patient. Very, very patient. So I'm going to pass it over on to him. All right. So Appreciate it. Here we go. All right. Bye, guys. Uh, I will be talking in chat, answering your silly questions. Bye. I do. Uh, I don't. Like my second time at WNF competition. And it's all right. I mean, Wednesday Night Fight's not only a proving ground for some of the players here, but it's also where a lot of commentators in SoCal got their first start. Right, right. right. I, I, in particular, wasn't great when I first started commentating here. Some say I'm still not, but... Uh, it is what it is. Bro. Yes. Just do your best. That, that's all that matters. But speaking of doing your best, we got Nito versus Wind. Yeah, this will be a good one for sure. Nito, of course, the power rank 10 and Terry player in Southern California. Number 13, one of the strongest players in this entire region and a player who comes to Wednesday and plays pretty regularly. Right. And versus Win, a prom player I'm not very familiar with. I know he's another Wednesday Night Fights regular, of course, a bit of a skill gap between the two of them, but still a very strong player in his own right. And in this particular matchup, Disjoints and Prom's ground speed in particular may make the difference against a character like Tim, who really has average speed at best. Average, yeah, his recovery isn't that great. No. So he can really, like, as I said that, he's completely obliterated. You don't really need recovery when you're on Fox Jab, I'm sure you. Still though, gonna get back on stage. He's gonna go for two. No, he's actually gonna poke through the show you before you can even attempt the two front down. So, yeah. I'm surprised. I mean, if you try countering, nothing will happen because you're good at this. Right. Having said that, Wind doing a very good job edge trapping until now. With the second build for high recovery. Out of range of Jack Bam. Focuses through and gets that. Is he gonna go for the Shoryu in the other direction? He is. That was a good mix-up. Very, very good mix-up. Did yeah. you see when he tried to do when he did the up tilt? He did it in reverse to try to get the mix-up to try to mess up his reaction. Really, really good. Yeah, wind not falling for that one. That's very oh, he just ran right into that one though. Sitting at 191, that's full cool rage. Oh. I think the rage messed that up. That it might have, but he's gonna get the roundhouse kick directly afterwards. Up three stocks to one. This is looking like Nito's game to lose now. One thing Nito likes to go for off the down tilt into uh, Tatsu is that he'll always be hunting for a second one. He looks for DI. If his opponent DI's out, he'll know that he can't do that, but in these specific situations, there you go. He seems to be down tilts again. He right. wants that again. He wants to carry him across the stage. But if you notice when he does do the uh, the top two, oh my god! If, if he knows the opponent's gonna DI away, he backs off and he resets the shield. But if if, he, if the opponent, like if, if the opponent doesn't DI, he's going. He's trying to do the same, like another. Tatsu, right after. Excellent. Nito getting the aerial confirmed into the Shoryu to end game one there. A dominant performance, only 20% onto that second stock. And we're going to be moving the battlefield for game two. I have to imagine that this is a stage probably more in Prom's favor than the Tri Black Lightheart, but Nito does not care about your stage pitch. I, I think Ken does pretty well too, because he could actually do um, random Shoryu's and then he can land on the platform more safely. That's fair. Trom's up air does cover nearly the entirety of the side platforms, and the jump height is pretty good too. But as you said, there are more escape routes for Nito if he needs to use them. You see him really on the tri plans, just waiting for him to buffer a hit, and here comes uh, Win with those fares and back air and F tilts. Those F tilts are coming in clutch. 
combo, not going for a hasty roll. Excellent work by Lin. Wait, that Nito was waiting for that roll. Battlefield's high ceilings perhaps saving him there, but I have to imagine that another one might fell the end of that first dock. Good DI by Nita. Very, very good effort. No tech by Lin. I'm watching Lin as he needs to edge guard him. He really gives Nito a chance to like recover. Right, I feel like, you know, some of the mistech might inspire a bit of fear in him. Whereas he had the right idea, he just didn't execute it correctly. Managed to rack up the damage, and even that trade-off stage probably would have been beneficial if he managed to get the tech. Correct. Go. You know, not in possession of the jump and no longer in possession of his first stock after that two frame with the down tilt. Wind finally on the board here. Finally catch the breath. Like now, now he now he can now he can uh, play his game. Yeah, I think he gave him more confidence. But I think that confidence is gone right now. Yeah, Nito just he hunts for these confirms. He will go for these jabs and assure you these up tilts into whatever he so fancies. If you notice, uh, Nino when he when when he's playing neutral, he'll um he'll buffer four tilt that, that little the stanky leg I believe is what he calls it, just to throw out a hitbox and like if it connects, he'll he'll go into a combo into anything that he wants. But usually his neutral will be as you saw the F, the F tilt into whatever he wants, and then he'll just back away. So he Nightwing starts the double edge dance, but doesn't go for the full combo. And he sets him up perfectly off the dare. Absolutely. Into, into Very, very good.